morning friends, Austin back with another video. And today, it's gonna be another smoothie video. It's been a while since I've made a smoothie and you know, I've been getting a lot of questions recently about uh, what kind of protein powders do I use, you know, what is a good smoothie recipe, etc. And so, I thought I would update you guys, show you how I'm making my smoothies currently in order to make th gains. So if you're new to the channel and you don't know a lot about me, I'm six foot eight tall and I've been following a plant-based diet for getting close to two years now, which is crazy how fast time flies. And to think that like four years ago, I would never even have considered following this type of diet, but it really has just opened up the door to not only expanding my mind and making me aware of not just how this diet helps me, but helps the world and helps animals but also the athletic performance benefits that I've gotten from this diet have just been amazing. So, and I wanna show that if a tall guy like me who has to eat close to 5,000 calories a day can do this diet, that means you can too. So, here's a little insight into what I do. Let's talk about the smoothie. So, when it comes to protein powders, guys, most people don't need protein powders. You really, you know, most people don't. Most of the time you can get all the protein you need from the food that you eat in a day. Now, if you have a very, very active lifestyle, especially with your job where you're kind of on your feet, moving around, you know, you don't really have a lot of time to sit and eat at, one, at you know, different parts of the day, you kind of need something to sip down to drink instead of sitting down to eat. A smoothie is a great way to go and a protein powder supplement could be something that you want to do. And if your main goal is to build up muscle and get stronger, not necessarily cut yourself, cut your weight down, but actually try to build yourself up, a protein supplement can also help you meet, reach your protein goals, which for most people about 0.7 to 0.8 grams per pound of body weight. So when it comes to protein powders, I like to use Vega brand. So Vega Clean Protein, this is their newest, you know, just generic protein powder. Vega is typically a more expensive brand, uh, but they have sales that go on every three to four months or so. And whenever they have a sale, I like to pick up a tub or so. So we're gonna make the smoothie with this in it today. So let's just get right to the smoothie. The smoothie base, guys, you gotta start with the liquids. So water and soy milk are kind of my go-to combo when it comes to making the smoothie. Ha <laughs> ha! Typically I pour about one cup of soy milk into the blender with about two cups of water. And that's because I'm a fan of liquidy smoothies. I like smoothies to be almost as close to the consistency of water as possible. Is that gross? But it might sound a little gross, but like super thick smoothies, just, they just, they're really hard to choke down sometimes. I like when it just sort of, you know, sort of just glides down. So now that we've got the liquids in, you might think we're going straight to throwing this powder in. You couldn't be more wrong. And that's because when you throw in a protein powder right on top of your liquids, it tends to stick to the walls of the blender. Then when you blend it up, it kind of just stays on the walls, even with something as powerful as a Vitamix. So adding the protein powder closer to last helps it incorporate better into the rest of the smoothie. So then the next thing we're gonna add, something that I haven't been adding for a while, but I just recently started adding and my, pff, my mind's reblown, and I can't believe I stopped using it, Peanut butter. Now hold up, this is Skippy. I know, it's not natural peanut butter. It has some partially hydrogenated oils and it's a little bit more processed than natural. But here's the thing, I use this peanut butter as a before bed snack too. Take a big old spoonful and just lick down the spoon and then go to bed. You can't really do that with natural peanut butter because it slides off the spoon and is super liquidy. So I use Skippy, but I have natural almond butter. I eat a very, very healthy, well-balanced diet, in my opinion, uh, and so a little Skippy from time to time is not gonna be the end of the world. So when it comes to the Skippy that I put in, I go hard with the Skippy. So to measure this out, instead of trying to like, you know, spoon it out into like a measuring cup, you can actually just weigh your peanut butter, take the spoonful out that you wanna use, and then use that as your calculation. So if we look at the serving size for peanut butter, it's about 32 grams. I like to weigh everything in grams because that unit is the most precise out of you know kind of the variations of ounces or whatever. Grams are very, very accurate. So let's go ahead and weigh it out. And as far as how much I'm going for, honestly, it's just a big old spoonful. 
So if we zero out the scale with the peanut butter in it and we just get that big old glob, we're talking like as how much can you possibly get in one spoonful? And that's typically what I use. Oh yeah, right there. Okay, so we've got about 150 grams of peanut butter right here. So if we look at the back, 32 grams is the serving size. So this is about five servings worth of peanut butter, which gets us close to a thousand calories. Oh yeah. So we'll just knock that in. Sometimes you gotta give it some taps. And if it doesn't all come off of the spoon, well, no worries. It is like the spoon. So about five servings of peanut butter, and now it's time to add more fixins. So from here, I like to add in some oats, some oatmeal. I go for rolled oats, because they're way better than steel cut oats. I don't like steel cut oats very much. I don't think they incorporate very well into smoothies. Rolled oats, I think, incorporate a lot better. So I just use a little one cup container, get in there, scoop out a cup of oatmeal, Plop it on in. And so now with the oatmeal out of the way, I like to add a few more healthy fats into the smoothie with hemp seeds and chia seeds. It just so happens that I have exactly one serving left of these hemp seeds in the bag, so I'm not gonna use my tablespoon measurement. I'm just gonna pour the three tablespoons into the smoothie and then break out the chia seeds, get a nice big Costco bag from Costco, and two tablespoons of chia seeds. Boom. Bingo. Okay, now time for the last two things that I put in the smoothie. We're going for bananas and some frozen strawberries. Now, if you're a pro smoothie maker, you probably know that the darker the bananas, the better when it comes to creating a good smoothie consistency. These are a little green for me. I'm a little bummed, but you know what? We're gonna make it work. And I'm just gonna go for four bananas today. Typically I put in about you know six to seven bananas in a smoothie, but four is gonna have to do today. I find that with the peanut butter and with one to two less bananas than usual, it just makes the smoothie just a little better, you know? And if you're eating bananas throughout the day too, you can make up for those extra bananas later. Oh, not a fan of this greenness. Still gonna be good. But fair warning, the greener your bananas are when you put them in your smoothie, the more frothy it's going to make your smoothie, most likely. Okay, the bananas are in. Can't forget the protein powder, we're gonna do a little scooby scoop of that. And you know what? I don't even usually do a full scoop because there's already tons of protein in this smoothie from the peanut butter, from the hemp seeds, from the chia seeds, from the oatmeal. So usually like a little three quarters or a half scoop Mainly just because it's chocolate and it tastes awesome. But this is by no means necessary for this smoothie to be great. And if your goal is weight loss, well, first off, don't put in that much peanut butter, but you most likely don't need a protein powder on top of that anyway. Just extra calories. You put that away. That's what's nice about being tall. You can reach the counters up top where no one ever looks or thinks to look. You can store all your goodies up there. Okay, last thing, guys. We're throwing some frozen strawberries. I'm big on the frozen strawberries and frozen mixed berries too, but I find with the uh, peanut butter chocolate flavor, <laughs> peanut butter chocolate strawberry mix, I find that makes the best smoothies. And as far as measuring this out, I used to measure out the fruit to be pretty exact. Now I kind of eyeball it, and you know why? And that's because strawberries just have very little calories in general. I mean, we're talking one serving of strawberries is 50 calories. So if you wanna err on adding in more of something, you wanna add in more things like berries to the smoothie as opposed to like peanut butter. If your goal is to lose weight, if your goal is to gain weight, you wanna add more of those weight gainer foods like the peanut butter and maybe less so of the strawberries and such. So we got a nice little pile of strawberries. You know what, we're just gonna throw in a little bonus. Just a little bonus for fun. And now we get to see the power of the Vitamix. And what's great about the Vitamix, it's got a smoothie button. So all I do is press the smoothie button and we're off. Sometimes it overheats, gets really loud like that. If, if it's a little thick, this is gonna be a little thick. When it starts to get too loud, you gotta give it that like quick kill. We're gonna do it nice and slowly. 
This is the problem with these really high calorie smoothies, is they, they sometimes over, overuse the blender. And there we have it. Ooh, this actually came out ooh, pretty dang smooth. Check it out, liquidy. Okay, so just calculated out the total calories for this smoothie specifically, and it's about what I expected it to be, around 2,000 calories, 2,100 calories. We've got ourselves 300, over 300 calories from the oats, got 900 calories from the peanut butter, 100 calories from the soy milk, 100 calories from the chia seeds, about 138 calories from the Vega powder, 170 from the hemp seeds, and then about 420 calories from the bananas. So about 2,000 calories. I know some people that's all they need in a day, but this is going down for meal number one of four for today for me. But this is definitely one of my biggest meals, but it's the way I like to kick off the morning. So do you need protein powder in your smoothies? No, not necessarily. Can it help you out sometimes? Yes, it totally can. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. A little bit of an insight onto things that I eat on a daily basis. I know it's kind of insane, or to most people it might seem insane, but this is life I live. And if I can handle a plant-based diet, I know you can too. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you do for your smoothies. So let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next video.